You're watching News View with Lee Sullivan. Welcome back. It's the News View. I'm visiting with Ron Hart, syndicated columnist, author, and Fox News View contributor. So, uh, <clears throat> at my house, uh, everybody watched the World Cup because the United States looked like they were going to advance, and right. then they met. Uh, the third world country that we've been supporting, Ghana, <laughs> and found yeah. out where some of our tax dollars had gone in training the soccer team. Nice, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ghana's beat us twice now, beating uh, Vietnam's record now. Vietnam <laughs> beat us twice yeah, now so really. far. But no, I mean, Americans every four years have to be reminded with the World Cup why we hate soccer. <laughs> it, just, it just takes every four years to kind of remind it's kind of, it's kind of boring. I don't really like this. You should never put yourself in a position as a country we can get beat by Ghana at anything. Exactly. I mean, you got to station yourself in life in a manner <laughs> to where if you lose, let it be to Russia hey, right. or China or something. A meaningful. world power. It's right. Like a, right. It's like a bar fight with you know, a, you know, a very weak person. You're, you're going to come out looking bad. There's no right. upside in it. So, now soccer is one of these sports that you know, Paraguay, Uruguay, what Argentina's left it. I don't know. It looks like a Nazi, you know, vacation land. Right. Uh, these countries that are left. So uh, Germany. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I have no interest in it. One nothing, two nothing scores. I just think it's uh, wrong and should be done away with. Well, uh, you know, I can't. Uh, the only moment in sports history that I can remember is was was woman soccer when a woman tore her top off or yeah, part well, of her top. Well, or, that's a whole different deal. That's what know. interests you. Right. <laughs> that's See? what's going to take. I mean, well, she got. I mean, they threw her under the bus. She had on a. Yeah, I, I guess a sports, sports bra, bra yeah. which is almost like a tank top. Yeah, that kept America's interest. I mean, you have to do that. I mean, the the LPGA tour. And then they smoked better. cigars. I mean, they how, did. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or some somebody smoked a cigar. Yeah, that's right. Maybe Clinton. Yeah, maybe <laughs> that's who you're thinking about. <laughs> now soccer. I mean, I would think. I mean, I don't. Know, I, I watch ladies volleyball. That intrigues me for some reason. I don't know why, but I like beach volleyball. I, you know, I don't want to, you know, yeah, let me know. I've, I started to do something about Tiger, but I want to do the the next Supreme Court, apparently, Justice, the nominee, Kagan's. Uh, I, I mean, had you, have you watched any of that Nah. If I may say confirmation, yeah, you know you're pretty bad. If you're not, you're on C-SPAN three, not C-SPAN two. You're pretty boring. But here's what we know about Elena Kagan. Her name is Elena Kagan. <laughs> That's kind of what we know so far. She wears comfortable shoes. Uh, no apparent love interest. Pretty sure she has a couple of cats. Uh, no, I mean, she's going to be. You know, she's going to be right down the line, liberal, just like Obama wants. She's, uh, you know, been hit, hidden in the administration of. Uh, Clinton as an advisor, and so there's no real record of what she said, uh, other than a few memos they've been able to get get loose. You know, when you're, you know, Clinton's advisor, it's a little bit like being Al Gore's masseuse. <laughs> At some point, it's going to come down to your word against hers. I'm pretty sure that's the situation you're heading toward over time. Uh, but she, you know, all we know now, well, if she gets if she gets put on there, at least. No longer will Ruth Bader Ginsburg be the hottest chick on the court. Right. That'll change things. Yep. So you got Sola Mayer, her. You know, here's the interesting thing right now, and I, you know, this is not a huge issue to me, it is to some. You got nine people in the court. It's not a Protestant on the court anymore. Right. It's an odd dynamic. Uh, not, not that you know, it comes down to Roe versus Wade. I think a lot of Republicans put Catholics on there, and Alito and Roberts are very, very strong. You know, Clarence Thomas is Catholic, right. of course, uh, Scalia is as well. And I think the right to life or the, the Roe versus Wade fear is the reason I think Republicans put Catholics on there for years and years and years. Uh, and I, I just think there needs, you know, here's a guy, Obama, about diversity when, it's, when it suits him, of course. Right. Not, not when he's thinking about the court, look at the court, nine people in the court, you know, a country is about 60, 70 percent Protestant. You know, there's not a Protestant in the court. I mean, I, interesting dynamic. So uh, he's going to stack it as best he can with people that think like he does. He's going to have stealth candidates that you don't know anything about. And, you know, that they're probably more important in many ways than the Congress and some of the rulings they could potentially have for us. Right. I, I agree. Uh, <clears throat> that was a, that was one of my fears about uh, this uh, past election. Listen, uh, you'll, you'll come back. Yeah. We'll, we'll do another one. For, yeah. Yeah. I, I appreciate That'd it. Great. Ron Hart, News View. And remember, those are my views. What are yours?